For centuries, prior to the advent of the pharmaceutical industry and its contributing role in the practice of modern medicine, especially through the production of pharmaceutical drugs, many folks relied mostly on the use of herbs in the treatment of various conditions relating to physical and mental health. This practice, also known as folk medicine, remains a tradition in most cultures and has been passed down through generations. We travel to West Africa and discover a plant leaf which plays a significant role in both the cultural cuisine and its folk medicine. Venonia amygdalina, popularly called bitter leaf due to its very bitter taste, it's known for its use in Niger cuisine, being a key ingredient in select local dishes. However, for centuries, this herb has been vital in folk or traditional medicine as it has been used for a wide variety of medical conditions, so much so it has gotten the attention of major research labs globally aiming to unravel its nature and dynamics. A lot of health benefits are said to be attributable to the consumption of the bitter leaf. What are these said benefits? Join me as I guide you and we both discover this herb that just might have us some hidden treasures within the bitter taste. Hi, I'm Dr. Francisca Osage and thank you for joining me on Francisca on Health Matters. As a result of the lack of standardized protocols and scientific validations of folk or traditional medicine compared with the pharmaceutical drugs, the science community harbors reservations when it comes to the application of folk medicine in standardized healthcare. However, the several acclaimed benefits attributable to the ingestion of the bitter leaf has roused the attention of the science community so much so that some major research facilities are beginning to investigate and research these claims in addition to unraveling the chemical nature and dynamics of the bitter leaf. So what are these said benefits? The bitter leaf as a folk medicine can be taken as a tea or its juice extract from blended fresh leaves and is said to have anti-diabetic, anti-helmetic, that is against warm infestations, and anti-malarial properties. It's also said to function as a laxative agent, an expectorant, and can aid fertility in subfertile women. I personally have an interest in the outcomes of the various researches involving this plant's leaf because of my personal story. Now growing up, I would recall on many occasions when my mom will extract the juice from this leaf, prepare and serve the entire family. I was always very hesitant to drink it, especially because of its bitter taste. My mom would go on to encourage us to prepare and serve our future families, especially because of the great health benefits it offered. Now, years later, I can tell you, both parents of mine still taking care of each other at almost age 90. No history of diabetes, hypertension, or any heart disease, no form of arthritis. Now, as a medical doctor, I was trained to rely on evidence-based medicine. However, knowing how prevalent these conditions are, especially from a certain age, and witnessing my parents inculcate this lifestyle, I'm beginning to think, that there just might be a hidden treasure, especially when it comes to the health benefits of the bitter leaf that is yet to be discovered. The outcomes of some research on the Venonia Magdalena have shown that there are several phytochemicals within the composite structure of this plant leaf, some of which are noted for having antioxidative, anti-inflammatory, anti-carcinogenic, and neuroprotective properties. And it is believed that these confer medicinal properties to the bitter leaf. Some recognized phytochemicals present in the leaf include anthraquinones, coumarins, edoxides, flavonoids, lignans, saponins, and alkaloids, cisquetiprins, xanthons. Of these, for instance, flavonoids have antioxidative properties which are said to be linked to reducing the risk of inflammatory conditions such as heart diseases, diabetes, and arthritis. And so examples of other compounds or said phytochemicals or phytonutrients that are present conferring the recognized health benefits of Venonia amygdalina. Let us look at a few other said benefits attributable to the recognized compounds within the Venonia amygdalina. Though research on the bitter leaf is not so robust, however, some research showed the likelihood that certain structural chemicals or phytochemicals within the Venonia plant leaf confer properties which enable the usefulness of the bitter leaf 
for conditions such as malaria. Not surprising as this condition is endemic to tropical West Africa. This property has been linked to the active compound sesquetipin lactone, which has been demonstrated to act against plasmodium falciparum, one of the common causes of malaria in West Africa. As an anti-inflammatory remedy, a compound venodolin has been recognized for conferring this property. The hospital leaf is said to be useful in conditions such as arthritis, asthma, and inflammatory bowel disease. Other compounds help reduce inflammation throughout the body, reducing the risk of many chronic diseases such as heart diseases, diabetes, and cancer. Its potential as an anti-carcinogenic remedy is due to the compounds venomigdin and venodelin. These compounds are believed to inhibit the growth of cancer cells. The antioxidants present in bitter leaf can help destroy free radicals in the body. Free radicals are known to cause cellular damage. By neutralizing these harmful molecules, bitter leaves may help reduce the risk of certain cancers. As a neuroprotective remedy, it contains antioxidants and anti-inflammatory substances, and these offer neuroprotection, protecting brain cells from oxidative stress and inflammation, which are known contributors to neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Other said benefits include enhancing fertility and aiding in detoxification with agents such as saponins, coumarins, and alkaloids, which are also believed to help body reduce free radicals. These substances aid in neutralizing toxins and promote their safe removal from the body. It's important to note that while the bitter leaf is a traditional remedy with promising potential, more human studies are needed to fully understand its efficacy and mechanism of action. It should not replace conventional tested and proven remedies, especially when dealing with severe cases. Again, I hope you found this informative and educative. And if you've had, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.